Hey everybody, it's your friend Starmite here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. And this one looks like we are going to have to deal with a little bit of a clothing issue. So I have two tailors placed over in here, getting worked on. And of course, they're going to be requiring a little bit of stone. So we're still having some stone problems. Our caravan came back. We got a little bit of a bump in stone there. And of course, we have the two quarries that are working hard to, to try and prop us up with some stone going on here. So we'll get these two tailors built up, get some clothes happening, and uh, we'll hopefully solve that issue. We're sitting at 24 clothing. I didn't notice it. So a couple other things around in this area that we built in the last episode. Uh, we got our winery complete, and then I realized that uh, we're going to need some things in order to do anything with the winery. Uh, so the thing I'm going to focus on is going to be beer. I did plant some oats. So over here in our little farm area, we had broccoli in this upper one and then peas in the lower one. And so what I decided to do, I planted some oats in here and then we banned oats. So hopefully the oats won't be utilized for anything. And then we can go ahead and make some beer with them. And we want to do that a couple of reasons. Uh, apparently beer is going to increase the citizens health. And then we have a couple of our tourist attractions over here uh, that can utilize that, uh, the pub here. So beer, we're working on it. Oh yeah, and there's a flood. So <laughs> got that happening right now. That's why it started to rain. Uh, we did complete the tailor. That was pretty quick. Not not too much of a deal there. So let's go ahead and can we do down jackets yet? I would really like to progress a little bit with this. Linens are still poor. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to do some rough jackets. We'll get two people in there. Let's do a quick whip around and see if we got enough people in all of this. It looks like we did lose a couple people. So with all those people added, we should be looking all right in a little bit of time here. Okay. So that's the winery and the tailor. And then we have our luxury furniture factories. I'm going to pause. Oh, I did have the one pause. Perfect. So we'll build the one. We got the steel. We got the plank. So this will get done shortly. And then we can start to create some... Uh, cool furniture stuff and then if we go back over in here to our trade guy right in this area we go to factions we're pretty close to level three here i mean you know within like 200 so what that means dense farm dense orchard and dense forest farm the best farms in the game right in here so we're very very close to that what would be a really great idea is when we do get that if we have some surplus of food we could start phasing out some of these old farms and replacing them with the dense stuff it would be uh, a good idea, I think. Uh, so we noticed when we were looking at that tailor a second ago that we didn't have any linens, right? We're very low linens and we're really low on flax as well, it looks like. So what we have to do is we'll either have to plant some more standard farms or we'll swap something over or we just hold off and wait until we get the dense farms and start that up. That might be what we do. I heard something get completed and there it is, the luxury furniture factory. So we have furniture and luxury furniture. Regular little furniture just can take some timber and some leather, which ooh, we're kind of low on. And then the luxury furniture is going to take planks and then seal fur or refined leather. So for now, we're going to start with regular old furniture and get that going. Now, if we go up into our technologies here, if we go here to our refined leather, this is where we can get the leather shop to process leather into refined leather. Going to take some steel tools, which we probably could make, right? We can the advanced smithy. Okay pretty close to steel tools and then of course uh, this is going to also take a little bit of salt which apparently we we're also at zero so we gotta look at that salt again and since we're here and we got three points i think it would be a good idea since we have some oats coming in let's go ahead let's grab the mill we're gonna be able to utilize oats for that so we'll get that and then we could start to use the bread shop but the thing with the bread shop is it's gonna need some sugars and we don't have any sugar yet so we could of course go to sugar refinery However, we don't have any of the things required to do uh, sugar. No malt, sugar beets, sugar cane, or maple sap. So we could do that, but it doesn't really make sense, I guess. We need to get some more seeds going on. And as we you know, those are very, very expensive. So to start with, I think what we'll do, let's get the leather we're going. I know we need to get uh, the steel tools, but we can trade for that. And we could order some sugar, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So we got the mill, we got the leatherware, so we can build the leatherware hut and then a couple mills. So let, let's go ahead and we can do that. We have our mill here. There it is. So this bonus was for pastures, if I remember correctly. Oh, and look at that. It's going to fit back here. Oh, that only benefits the one really, but that's all right. We'll go ahead. We'll place that down and we'll get it tied in. It's all over in this area anyway, so that'll be all right. So let's get that going. And then we wanted to go to the leather wear hut. 
and we'll get our leatherware hut going and it looks like it'll fit just perfectly right in there so we'll get started with that space okay and now i do have a caravan 78 people holy cow i do have a caravan out right now i'll be back soonish um but we'll see how close we get to leveling up with uh meow yeah, with that if we get to level three that'll be fantastic we can start working with carlos okay so let's pause this because this thing has been sitting here for a minute we have intro to herbs enjoy life some cats pottery and some other little things here so some cats would be good they're a thousand apiece um uh, but i, I want to save up my money for seeds so i think we're just going to hold up on that but we could check on orders so let's go for seeds so if we just take a quick look at uh, sugar beets or cane seeds let's see what we got here so six thousand and then six thousand okay so not bad at all really a couple couple of thousand there we can grab that so these are basically the same sugar beet and sugar cane output 15 per grid harvest period 100 days the temperatures are the same and they're both growing in the field so i think we'll just go for some sugar cane and it's only six thousand it's really not that big of a deal uh, and then while we're here and since we're having the problem let's go for some rough clothes can we do like 500 what's that gonna cost oh that's a lot of money i <laughs> don't have to wait that many uh we can do 100 okay that's gonna take 10,000 coins from us that's that's a lot i'm gonna do 50 and uh, let's go ahead and get that stuff ordered so we'll get some seeds coming in so we didn't learn sugar but let's go ahead and do that and then we'll get our sugar workshop built up there it is okay so where do we want to build this so we're kind of working in this direction for some more fields so let's kind of uh, continue that pattern here and uh, let's get our sugar workshop going in this little area We'll go like that and the reason why i want to do that is because i want to put a transfer station in right here look at that i even remembered the size perfect so we'll get that there get our sugar workshop going again stone so much stone needed around here and this quarry is even almost empty already 37 percent how's this one looking the senior quarry much better at 90 percent. we could put some lanterns in here but like i mentioned in the last episode when we upgrade the senior quarry to deep quarry we're gonna lose those and i'm not really terribly thrilled about that it looks like we have our ship pulling up there it is okay new seed acquired so i think what we'll do we'll just go ahead and we'll come over in here and we'll copy this layout and it'll just bring it just south but since our caravan is pulling up let's wait and see if we level up with meow and if we do we're going to do the dense farms instead but we got our sugar workshop here again we don't have anything currently so let's just cut this off for now Transfer station's good to go. Oh, it looks like we overlapped a little bit on our transfer stations. Uh, we might need to swap that a little bit, but for now it's okay. And let's see what's going on up in, over in here. Okay, so our furniture factory doesn't have planks and we're not even building it. So that's perfect. It's exactly what we want it to be. And in this advanced tailor, we have turned our clothing around. We are now in the green. So we're working. We're heading in the right direction. What is this? Many workers have found that they can increase work efficiency and production by increasing power and water consumption at the expense of producing more wastewater. Grant them a permit. Uh, no. We're not going to poison our water. Okay, so we got that happening. Uh, what we were saying before. Oh, yeah. We want to go to agriculture. And I'm, I'm really thinking about getting to the corrals here because we haven't even done anything in this tree. And the corrals can raise horses and donkeys and the yield increases by 50% if used to raise other animals. And it's really not hard to make rope, brick and planks. Let's let's start this little process in here. I'd really like to get this filled out so that we can get to this corral. And we got animal slaughter in here too, a couple other good things. So let's work on this tree next. So that'll be the next three points. We'll go toward that. And then we really need to okay so i heard a little jingle so i think we did level up what we'd really like to do then is get our our critters figured out here we're really low on things like leather zero and then that is a decent decently okay 605 is all right but what about feathers feathers is looking great okay and then alpaca wool is another thing that's just not great so a couple things there we want to kind of uh, see if we can get going on a little bit better Okay, immigrants arrived. Let's deal with those first. Accept those people. And then let's go over here and let's just double check. We should be there. There we go. We barely, barely made it to level three, but dense farm, dense orchard, dense horse farm. Got those very important pieces. We're in the red with our food. Uh, so let's get some fields built up. And then we definitely got to go visit Carlos. Uh, so let's wait just a little bit. Oh, there's something else that I want to do before we uh, build the fields. And that is going to be the carving workshop. 
another thing that I, uh, I guess I kind of forgot about from the last episode. So let's get uh, some carving workshops going here. We're, of course, probably going to need to uh, have our stone going on to build this thing, but let's get it going here. Yeah, oh yeah, and the steel tools. We need 30 of those guys. So, 30 steel tools. Let's go over to our caravan. Carlos, set this up. And then one thing we're going to buy, we'll say steel tool. And we need 30. Let's call it 60. Purchase. And then I'm going to set up what we're going to sell. All right, a pretty small transaction here going out for our first visit to Carlos. But uh, that'll be all right. And we'll start to get that reputation working for us as well. A drought has just struck the land. So we're going to have lower yields for a little bit here. Um, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so we got the carving workshop started up. That's perfect. It uh, looks like we got our mill done over in here. So let's see what we can do here. We want to get some flour going, right? Or not. Where's our winery? Winery? You only need regular old oats, huh? All right, well, I guess we don't need the mill. <laughs> I thought we did. But, well, I guess we could utilize it to make some malt. We could do that. But I'm going to just go for regular old oats because why not? Let's go ahead and get this started. You got the beer selected. Let's start getting some beer happening around here. I'd also like to uh, create another winery. Man, we had, we're good at crowding things out around here. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll get this guy set up right there. Get another winery going. I did ban oats, so that's great. We did also ban chestnuts in the last episode, and we can see here in the cafe that they are, yes, still utilized by the cafe. Perfect, exactly what we're looking for. We also have a couple of veggie salads. Uh, we're eating those things like crazy everywhere else around town here. Okay, so July, we'll be harvesting soon-ish. Okay. Oh, we should come over here to our sun temple and get this cafe set up. So I want to do similar things, I guess, because that's really what we have right now. We'll do veggie salad, we'll do salted fish, and we'll do chestnuts. Kind of a bizarre... <laughs> collection of foods there we can buy a couple other things here like get some apples going or something like that once we get uh, a little bit better with carlos because those seeds are going to be much cheaper okay so we'll get those three things set up in the cafe just coffee for now in the pub and our hotel is good to go uh we do have an administrator so let's deal with that Oops, I, I meant to look at that instead of reappoint because now we just burned up a bunch of our money so we're a ways away from mulberries. I think we'll probably end up getting our reputation with Carlos up before we can even get to mulberries. And remember, we need the mulberries uh, because we were trying to do our silk. And the silk requires a silkworm shed, which then requires mulberry leaves to not only be built, but also operate. So a couple little things there where we're going to need some mulberries. So let's come over here then finally. And like I mentioned, I wanted to kind of just copy this layout, but uh, bring it down over in here. So we'll go for dense farms and they're eight by eight, just like these. I love it. And we're going to just copy this layout. So we got this all set up. It's looking great. Uh, the only kind of weird thing is that this farm has to be in here like this uh, because just of how the spacing works. So we got this goofy farm in here. I don't love it, but we have the dense farm and I forgot that I'm going to need bamboo. So we need to get our forest farm going up and getting some bamboo. We're kind of running into a couple problems here. Let's go to our dense forest farm. Let's come over in here. This seems like a decent spot. We'll get a couple of these dense forest farms going. Or I don't want to get too close to that. That's perfect like there. And we'll get this field going like that. So we'll get some bamboo started up. We're also in the, in the red with wood, but we got 4,000 stocked up. So I'm not terribly concerned about that right now. Um, but let's work on that. We'll get those two things built up. We obviously have to grow the bamboo before we can get it over in here, uh, but we can do that. No problem. Let's we'll take a little bit of time and then we'll start to slowly get these guys going up. And then it looks like we might need to unban some of our other foods that we have banned up over in here. Um, or we'll do some more peas or something and just really get going on that situation. Uh, we also know that we need some flax seeds. So that's something else we need to consider. And then, of course, our sugar cane seeds, which is partly the whole reason why we started this area here. Let's get started with some sugar cane seeds and we'll get that going. And then that way we can get some sugar started in our sugar workshop. Uh, first, here's our sugar cane. I don't have anybody in there right now, so we'll just hold up. Winery, you need to be making, you're gonna be making some beer too. So two wineries, both making beer. We have our oats band, so they're utilizing those guys. Perfect, exactly what we need them to be doing right now. Okay, so we also want to consider probably putting in a couple more fields. 
or perhaps let's just take a second and look at what we got going on for resources so for our iron tools i have been trading those out of course so we're kind of sitting a little bit low on that and i'm noticing a lot of snowflakes running around here now that the winter is starting up uh, let's take a moment now that we have some time we should have a fair amount of points here there yeah 3000 looking great so what we could do what i think i want to do I'm, I'm curious about this the bedding house so this can provide services to meet the entertainment needs of regular tourist supplies will be consumed so that seems kind of interesting can sell trade goods to meet the needs of premium tourists bedding sets we could do that and of course we also have the grocer here but that's looking for some cotton cloth Oh, we should be able to make cotton cloth. We need to get that going a little bit better, it looks like. So we can buy both these. So let's go ahead and do that right away. Specialty store, bedding house. Let's get those two things on the way here. Here's our specialty store. And here's our bedding house. Two pretty simple buildings. So let's go back up over this area. And then we get to redo both those. So there's our bedding house and our specialty store. Great, so those things are going to get worked on. Wow, lots of cut stone, brick. We should have enough bedding sets. Oh yeah, easily have enough bedding sets for that and enough brick. So the two specialty swords shouldn't take that long. Planks, stone, and glass also good to go. So those two buildings should be done pretty quickly here, but we'll see what happens. Uh, our steel seems to be doing better. I'm going to bump this up to a thousand. We were having steel problems the last couple episodes, so we wanted to revisit that here. And then, of course, our fuel factories are are cranking them out we're doing great let's bump this up as well and keep that uh, going here so no more points yet but we're very very close to our next agriculture point and then we'll go for eco pasture of course oh so these dense forest farms are gonna require bamboo as well okay so what here's what we gotta do we need to find where we're growing some trees here here we go uh let's cut this into bamboo looks like i can't product to be replaced next time with bamboo seeds so that's a ways out probably right okay so let's just do this instead we'll come over in here this is probably the better way to do, go about this anyways i'll we'll go ahead and get our forest farm which we know doesn't require bamboo for crying out loud and we gotta find a, a you know a little spot for this we don't need this for forever we'll get a nice 10 by 10 right there that'll be just perfect and this forest farm yeah that'll work so yeah, let's get some of this bamboo going. We can also, of course, trade for some bamboo, which probably isn't the worst idea. Um, another trading post would also probably be helpful so we can get a couple trades going on at once, especially now that um, we have so many free labors. Lots of people going on along the town here. Uh, so I wanted to see trade. So let's go ahead and get up over in here and we'll do another small trading post. This one we can plop. Sure, we'll plop that guy right there. Okay. Get that thing built up, and then we can start sending two caravans out. We can, we could also go up over in here and get the caravan remodel. Increases the number of caravans by one. Uh, but in order to do that, we're also going to need the large trading post, which we could do this as well, too. Uh, but we're just going to save our points uh, for the agriculture, eco pasture, and next animal slaughter, and next corral, so that we can really get those goods going that we were talking about a little bit ago water in the red as well all right and then another thing i think we did was the edict thing again right let's see yep we got a couple points we got some extra points now so the output of the well and the dig well increased by 25 percent absolutely we're gonna go ahead and do that what would be a probably good idea here we need 2,000 edict points for the restore the land here the output of forest farm type buildings increases by 30 percent and tree regen time decreases by 30 that's so good what we're going to want to do is build another one of these little uh, offices of edict dissemination. And we'll go ahead. I guess these don't really matter where they are, but we'll go like that. Get two more over in there and we'll just do three and get those things happening. Get a little bit more points. And it looks like, according to this anyways, 11 citizens are homeless. We're probably going to want to go ahead and grab our marketplace. Since we do have a lot of extra people, 104 laborers, which is awesome, incredible. Uh, we can absolutely make another marketplace and i'm th kind of thinking like right in here we uh, i think we'll have enough space to be able to do this and we can put some mines down on the south side there and we're not intruding on anything else up here so let's go ahead we'll get this marketplace set up and get another one of our neighborhoods starting so we'll get that on the way let's come up over in here let's see what the specialty store has in store for us common goods oh oh heck yeah we're gonna go ahead and stock those two things 
and it looks like that's about it for now oh so we can get some uh, tobacco going we could get some carving workshop stuff happening in here but for now we're going to go ahead with those two items same thing up over in here awesome and the bedding house has now uh started looks like what are we looking for here we need domestic fuel and beer okay so we're working on beer so that's on the way that turned out quite nicely and what do we got going on over in here what's the situation that leather we're hot we're still waiting on those steel tools they're on the way back and the carving workshop also needs steel tools oh crap so i need 50 what what do we uh what do we request here 60 all right heck yeah okay so it looks like we'll have enough for that okay so what i think i'm gonna do here i'm gonna go in between episodes and i'll probably build up this little area and then when we come back in the next episode uh we will have a fantastic new little neighborhood for you but i think this is going to be where we're going to call this one have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening day or night and i will talk to you again real soon